like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can't we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Time to get busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Yeah! Can we fix it? Yeah! Bob the Builder! Can we fix it? Bob the Builder! Yes, we can! <laughs> wow! Easy, Pilchard! There! That should do it! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Ooh, uh, do you want your breakfast, Pilchard? Sorry, Pilchard. We're a little too big to get into the kitchen. Now, come on, Timmy Kins. There's a good boy. Now, now come on. No, Mr. Lamppost doesn't want to say hello. Uh, come on. Ah! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You're home early, dear. Oh, hello. Who's this? Um, it's Timmykins, the mayor's dog, dear. She's gone on vacation, you see, and she asked me to look after him. Uh, of course, I said yes. Well, Uncle Bernard's got to go to work now. Bye-bye, Timmykins. But I'm going to visit my sister today. We can't leave him here on his own. Oh, no. I suppose I'll have to take him to work with me. I just hope you're a good boy. Oh! Um, Bob, why have we put two doors in this house? Because we're making two apartments, Dizzy. One upstairs and one downstairs. And the people who are living here will need a door each, won't they? Oh, yes. Morning, Mr. Bentley. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello. And who are you? Oh, uh, uh, down, Timmykins. Oh, oh, down, boy. Uh, this is, uh, Timmykins. He's the mayor's dog. I'm looking after him while she's on vacation. Oh, he's sweet, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh Timmykins, that's enough. Uh, I, I don't have time for all this goofing around. <laughs> it tickles. Come, Timmykins, come to Uncle Bernard. Uncle Bernard. <laughs> Timmykins, come out of there at once. I'll get him out of there, Mr. Bentley. Come on, boy, come to Uncle Bob. There we go. Good dog. The secret is to keep calm. I am calm. I just have a rather busy day, that's all. Uh, Mr. Bentley, I think Timmykins needs a bath. Oh, Timmykins, look at you. Bob, what am I gonna do? You can take him to the yard. It's just around the corner. Wendy will help you get him cleaned up. Good idea, Bob. Come on, Timmykins, you messy puppy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! No! Oh, no, 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 Timmykins, a naughty dog. Don't worry, Lofty, he, he's just being friendly. Is he? Oh. What on, Mr. Bentley? What's happening? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> easy. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my work clothes on, doggy. <laughs> You're filthy. Yes, sorry about that, Wendy. This is Timmykins, the mayor's dog. He jumped into Dizzy's mixer and got kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go and get some water and shampoo. Can I use your phone, Wendy? I'm late for my next appointment. I'll, I'll have to let them know. Of course. Help yourself, Mr. Bentley. Sit and stay. Oh, good dog. <laughs> What's the matter, Pilchard? Uh, I think Bob forgot to give her her breakfast, Wendy. Well, we better get you something to eat. Phew. Wish Wendy was here to hold the door for me. Whoops. Whoa. Ooh. Easy, Bob. There you are, Pilchard. Now, for some water and shampoo for Timmykins. Oh, no. Now, 
Timmykins. Time for your... Timmykins? Timmykins! Uh, Mr. Bentley, we have a bit of a problem. Hmm? What kind of problem, Wendy? Timmykins. He seems to have, uh, gone. Gone? But, but... Oh, no! Timmykins! Timmykins! Oh, gracious! What was that? Oh! Oh! Oh, dear. Huh? Hey! What's the happen, huh? Who we'll knock over my trash? There. That'll work. And now, time for lunch. Come on, gang. Back to the yard. Oh, for God. My cell phone. Good. Now for that lunch. Timmykins? Timmykins? Here, boy. Come. Heal. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Mr. Bentley. Is Timmykins all nice and cleaned up? No, Bob. He's still dirty. But now, he's gone as well. I'll get it. Gone? Gone where? I don't know, Bob. And if I don't get him back, the mayor's gonna be so upset. What am I gonna do? Mr. Bentley, it's for you. For me? Yes. It's the mayor. Oh. Mrs. Mayor. Yes. Very well, thank you. And Timmykins? Oh, he's he's fine. Yes, just fine and dandy. Couldn't be any dandier or finer if he tried. And and done clean, too. Yes, nice and clean and here. You want to speak to him? Ah! Uh, 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 I mean, yes, yes, of course, yes. Uh, uh, come here, Timmykins. M Mommy wants to talk to you. Woof, woof, woof. Uh, no, no, he, he doesn't have a cold. I, he's fine, aren't you, boy? You, oh, must be a bad line or, uh, or, or something. Uh, bye. <laughs> this is an emergency. Oh, sorry, Bob, but we have to find that dog. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. We'll find him. Okay, come on, everyone. Let's start looking. I hope they find him. Oh, oh they, they did! Oh, no! Help! Help! Go away! He's too shaggy! Go away! Oh. Uh, no sign of him here, either, Mr. Bentley. What am I going to do? What am I... <laughs> Hello? Wendy here... Oh. Sounds like Lofty and Timmykins. Timmykins? Oh, praise be. They must be at the yard. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, he, 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 easy there, Timmykins. Oh, but yeah, Pilchard brought him back. Well done, Pilchard. I'm really sorry, Mr. Bentley. No luck, I'm afraid. Timmykins! Pilchard found him. You are a clever cat, Pilchard. Yes. And now, it's time for that bath. Bernard, what's Timmykins doing in your favorite chair? Well, he seems to like it. That's nice, dear. Tasty piece of steak? Why, thank you, Barbara. After the day I've had, I could... Oh, it's not for you, Bernard. I bought it for little Timmykins. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. I think we have everything we need. What's the job, Bob? The mayor has asked us to build a new pavilion for the annual flower show. She wants to make it a big success this year. What's a pavilion, Bob? It's a kind of shelter people sit under if it rains. The mayor has even asked Molly to make a special statue for the park entrance. Look! Wow! wow. 
there's a plinth for it to stand on, and there are some red velvet curtains to go around it. Oh, there's gonna be a grand unveiling ceremony tomorrow. Uh, I think we might have to come back for the statue, Bob. We're kind of full. Hmm, you're right, Scoop. Don't worry about that, Bob. I asked Farmer Pickles to send Travis along, too. I'm here! Oh, oh please say I can help, Bob. Oh, I suppose so. Yes! Spuds on the job, Bob! You can start by loading that stuff onto Travis's trailer. Yes, Bob. Oh, I didn't know you had a horse, Molly. Hello, horsey. Spuds the name, Scaring's the game. Who are you? Oh, Spud, it isn't a real horse. It's a statue. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I knew that. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! That's it, Lofty. Keep it coming. Take it easy there. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. Well done, Lofty. <sighs> there. Now we're all ready for the unveiling. Okay. Come on, gang. We have a pavilion to put up. We should be getting back, Spud. I'm going to stay here, Travis. Someone needs to guard the statue so nothing happens to it. <laughs> Well, all right, Spud. See you later. <laughs> hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three. About turn. Hop, two, three, four. Hey, hey, you. Get off. Stop it. I'm guarding this statue, and I don't want... <gasps> hmm. Super jockey! Come on, horsey! No one's gonna catch us! <laughs> oh no! What am I gonna do? Hmm, I wonder if Molly made the statue, then maybe I could. <gasps> Aha! Hey, what? I thought I left. Hmm. Huh? That's funny. Uh, Bob, have you taken some of the pieces I had here? No. Hmm. I don't understand. We've used all the pieces, but it doesn't seem to be finished. Maybe we didn't read the plans right. Or maybe we didn't pick up all the parts from JJ's yard. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Mr. Bentley, but I'm sure we'll get the pavilion finished by... Oh, it's not the pavilion, Bob. That can wait for now. I've just had a message from the mayor. She's asked me to do the statue unveiling. But that's wonderful, Mr. Bentley. B but I need to write a speech and rehearse and... We'll help you, Mr. Bentley. Won't we, Bob? Um, yes. Yes, of course we will. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, I, uh, I'm guarding horsey, Bob, and that noise was a s uh, spider trying to, uh, build a cobweb on the statue, but I sure took care of him. <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. Benley needs to practice the unveiling ceremony. What? Now? Well, why not, Spud? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> no time like the present, huh? <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the mayor, I would like to welcome you all here today to 
today to the unveiling of the town's new, new statue. And I now declare it hereby forthwith and herein to be well and truly open. <gasps> oh, no. Was my speech really that bad? Um, no. No, look. All right. Oh, wow. Brilliant. <laughs> That's what I call a horse. <laughs> What's that? What happened to the statue? It's right there. What's that? It's not my statue. But it is all the missing pieces from the pavilion. Spud. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm, I'm afraid I broke your horse, Molly. I tried to make another one, only it isn't very good. I'm really, really sorry. So, um, where's my statue, Spud? Oh, it's over there, Molly. Oh! I hid it in the bushes. Well, it could be worse, but... Yes, I think I should be able to fix it as good as new. Whoop! Oh, I, I mean, uh, thank you. Sorry, Molly. On behalf of the mayor, I would like to welcome you all here today to the opening of the annual flower show. And to mark the occasion, I have great pleasure in unveiling this wonderful new statue. This wonderful new statue! I'm really so sorry. It seems to be kind of stuck. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. Spud's on the job. Oh. Mr. Bentley, look out. Oh, oh Spud. Uh, Mr. Bentley, can you, can you get off now? Mr. Bentley? Oh, are you all right? Of course he's all right, aren't you, Mr. Bentley? Uh, -huh. yes. Yes, I, uh, I think so. Oh, you nearly broke horsey, Mr. Bentley. Lucky I was here to save both of you. <laughs> oh, oh Spud. Spud. What? What? What did I say? Uh, what did I say? JJ, Skip went to the dump with Molly. Do you have a job for me? There is something you could do, Trix. You could take that big bag of wood chips to Bob. He's building a jungle gym in the school playground. See you later, JJ. Bye, Trix. I have your wood chips, Bob. Thanks, Trix. Where are you going to put them? Underneath the jungle gym. Why? So that if any of the children slip and fall down, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. That's a good idea. Where are the children, Bob? They're on vacation. Oh. Now, Muck, can you go to Farmer Pickles and pick up the wooden poles for the jungle gym? Can I help you, Muck? Of course you can, Trick Gibby. <laughs> Hello, you two. <laughs> what are those, Farmer Pickles? They're pumpkins, tricks. They're enormous. Oh, yes, yes. It's the best pumpkin harvest I've ever had. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to take them to the market and sell them. What about those two? Well, I've saved that one for a pumpkin pie to eat at the harvest supper tonight. And that one 
is for a surprise. Are you gonna make the pumpkin pie, Farmer Pickles? No, Muck. Mrs. Percival's going to make it at Mr. Sabatini's pizza parlor. Why is she cooking the pie at Mr. Sabatini's? Because we need a big pie, and Mr. Sabatini has a big oven to cook it in. I said I'd take the pumpkin to the pizza parlor, but I don't really have time. I'll take the pumpkin. Tricks? You're supposed to be helping me with the wooden poles. I can take both, Muck. Oh, can you? Hi, everyone. Look what I've got. Wow! This is the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. I have to take it to Mrs. Percival right away. She's going to make a pumpkin pie with it for everyone to eat at Farmer Pickle's Harvest Supper tonight. Oh, mmm. I love pumpkin pie. Me too. I have a lot to do today. So do we, Trix. I'll help you, Bob. I can take the pumpkin, then I can come straight back here and help you. Oh, thanks, Trix. Oh, oh, goodness. This will make a really big pumpkin pie. The biggest pie in the world. <laughs> hey, Trix, why not to stay in a watch? Sorry, I can't, Mr. Sabatini. I have so much to do today. Oh, well, don't let us hold you up, Trix. See you later. Great! Would you help Muck move those wooden poles? Of course! Hmm. I think we need another bag of wood chips here. I can go back and get another bag. Thanks, Trix. Hi! Hey, Trix! The pie! She is a finished! Wow! It's very big! Yes. I don't know how we're going to get it up to Farmer Pickles. I can take the pie, Mrs. Percival! Oh, well, that's very nice of you, Trix. I'll meet you up at the farm. See you later! <laughs> Wait till I tell Skip and Molly how busy I've been. Oh, I forgot to get the bag of wood chips for Bob. Hi, Trix. What's the matter? Oh, hi, Spud. I have to take this pie to Farmer Pickles, and I have to get Bob a bag of wood chips. Oh, what a great, big, beautiful pie. Oh, help. I don't know what to do, Spud. Tell you what, Trix, I'll look after the pie while you go and get Bob's wood chip things. Oh, would you? Thank you so much, Spot. I won't be long. Take as long as you want, Trix. <laughs> Have you finished, Bob? Nearly, Dizzy. We're just waiting for Trix to bring another bag of those wood chips. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to a slice of Mrs. Percival's pumpkin pie. Me too. Oh. Well done, Bob and Wendy. It's a wonderful jungle gym. I hope the children like it. Oh, they'll love it. Now, I've got to run. I'm on my way to help Farmer Pickles with his harvest supper. Where's your pumpkin pie, Mrs. Percival? Ah, now, Trix has taken it up to the farm. Trix? How can Trix do two jobs at the same time? I don't know, Bob, but I'd better go and get those wood chips. Why did I say I deliver the pie and pick up the bag of wood chips? Oh, oh, oh yummy pie! Ah, 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 hey! Ah, ah, leave my pie alone! Ah, ah, shoo! Ah, shoo! Ah, get off! Get ah, off! Hello, Wendy. Hello, JJ. Hi, I... JJ. I've come to. Oh, Wendy. Tricks? I had to take the pumpkin pie up to the farm, then I remembered I'd forgotten the wood chip, so I came back here, and then I... Slow down, Trix. I think you've taken on one job too many. <laughs> one job at a time, Trix. Otherwise, you'll end up in a pickle. I am in a pickle, JJ. Uh, Trix, where's the pumpkin pie? Spot's looking after it. 
Spud? There's no way Spud will be able to resist fresh homemade pie. Oh, no. I'll go back right away. Hey, Trix, what about the wood chips and... Oh. I'll take a bag of those wood chips to Bob. Oh, uh, I'll help you, JJ. Oh, thanks, Lofty. I'll come and get the pumpkin pie with you, Trix. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I hope Spud hasn't eaten the pie. Oh, so do I, Trix. So do I. JJ? Where's Wendy? She's gone to get the pumpkin pie. Trix left it with Spud. Spud? Oh, let's hope she gets there in time. Ah, 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 <laughs> Joe, ah, get in my pies alone. Ah, Go on, get out of here. Get away. Look, Wendy, Spud's keeping the birds off the pumpkin pie. <laughs> hey, get lost. <laughs> oh. Good news, Bob. Spud has the pumpkin pie. And it's all in one piece. Really? That's great news, Wendy. We finished here now, so we'll see you at Farmer Pickles very soon. Farmer Pickles has been waiting for you to get here, Bob. He has a wonderful surprise for everyone. Oh. Oh. It's really, it's really right. pretty. Well, now, <laughs> I thought I might surprise you. I saved this pumpkin to make a jack-o'-lantern for our harvest supper. Oh, wow! That's brilliant! Yippee! It's pumpkin pie time! Well, now, I think Spud deserves the first piece. Oh, yummy! Thanks, Mrs. Percival. <laughs> There wouldn't be any pie if Spud hadn't looked after it. You're a hero, Spud. Oh, yeah, yes. I guess I am. <laughs> Name. Dizzy. Job. Cement mixer. Color. Orange. Likes. Singing. Catchphrase. Name. Wendy. Job. Builder. Likes. Gardening. Skiing. Family. Sister. Jenny. Name. Rolly. Job. Steamroller. Color. Green. Likes. Music. Catchphrase. Rock and roll. 